Welcome to Crypto Mastery Class. This is Crypto Girl, and I've got Joe on the line. He's the creator of the Crypto Master Indicators, and we're going to make crypto easy to understand and simple to invest in. We'll look at the news, overall market, hot movers in the basket, and indicators and question and answer. So to start, embattled crypto broker Voyager to sell assets to Sam Bakeman Freed's FTX for $1.4 billion. So what is going on is a major crypto exchange, FTX, won a bid to buy Voyager. If you're not familiar with Voyager, this had um, to sell all of its assets to the highest bidder. So according to late Monday announcements, Voyager FTX bid reflects over $1.3 billion at the fair market value of its crypto assets. However, the financial value of the sale will be based on prices on a to-be-determined date. The bid also includes $111 million of what it, it describes as incremental value. So I want to deep dive a little bit more into this FTX that has enough money to acquire something like Voyager. So Voyager received multiple bids contemplating sales and reorganization alternatives, held an auction, and based on the auction's results, has determined that the sale transactions with FTX is the best alternative for the Voyager stakeholders. So who is Sam Bakeman Freed? Looks like I've got six mutual connections with Sam on uh, on LinkedIn. Now it says that CEO at FTX. So he's not just the CEO, he is the founder, and I'll show you in the next slide. And I wanted to do a little deep dive into this. So it's interesting, it says the Bahamas, Nassau, but we'll go back into his history and see does he really live in Nassau. So he was the chief executive officer since April 2019. So it's been three years. And it says Hong Kong under that. And below that, he is a CEO of Almeida Research. So we're going to go into his Wikipedia really quick and say, well, what is on media research? And this has something to do with the crypto mastery indicators that we're about to jump into. OK, so this what the one I want you to focus on is this all media research. I know it's pretty small on there, but we'll jump into the next slide and you'll see a little bit more. And then you have the director of development at Center of Effective Altruism. And the most important thing, I think, is that he went to Massachusetts Institute of Technology and Physics of 2010 and 2014. So here's a little oopsie. One second. Let me go back to that slide. I want you to see this one. Sorry about that. All right. So here's the thing. So the owner of FTX, this is important. In September 2018, Bakeman Freed quit Jane Street and moved to Berkeley, where he worked briefly at the Center of Effective Altruism as a director of development from October to November. Now, this is where his money started being made. In November 2017, he founded All Media Research, a quantitative trading firm. Now, that's really important, guys, because when you use the Crypto Mastery trading indicators, they are designed by a quantitative developer. It The trading indicators for Crypto Mastery that you're using are manual strategy of quantitative trading, all right? So automated would be one thing, but this allows you to do manual strategies. So here's the thing, as of this is where this man started making the money that would allow him to create FTX and what he has now. As of 2021, Bakeman Freed owes a pro owns approximately 90% of all media research. In January 2018, Bakeman Freed organized an arbitrage trade moving up to $25 million per day to take advantage of the higher price of Bitcoin in Japan compared to in America. Did you notice how earlier in the slides it said Hong Kong? So he was very smart. Now, one thing I do want to zoom in on is that he was born on the campus of Stanford University, and both of his parents were attorneys. So he is a very, very supported uh, on a legal basis. His Both of his parents are professors at the Stanford Law School. So you would, I would assume that he has a very good background on law. And after, let's go back to the last line, after trading a late 2018 cryptocurrency conference, 
And while also inspired by the concurrent fork of Bitcoin Cash, he moved to Hong Kong. He founded FTX, a cryptocurrency derivatives exchange, in April 2019, and then it launched the following month. Okay, so that is the foundation of FTX. It is new, and it is making accelerated amounts of money per year. So just to give you a perspective, what this man did in five years, five years ago, he creates a quantitative trading firm. So I wanted to give you guys hope for the future that you're using quantitative manual strategies. And if you really focus on this like this man did, who knows where you can be in five years from now. So the next piece of news today is Robinhood launches self-custody wallet to 10,000 waitlist users. So Robinhood launched this self-custody wallet on Tuesday. And it's a standalone app on the Apple Store and allows users to trade and swap crypto without network fees. So there's a reason why I'm showing you guys this, okay? And I'm going to show you in the next potential coin this one right here the app is initially launching with polygon support but will support multiple networks in the future according to robin hood polygon was chosen for its low-cost model Xiang song li head of product at robin hood crypto told the block so who is Xiang song l so he has the head of product robin hood crypto and he started that that particular position on February 2020. So this is from LinkedIn. And I want to tell you a little bit about Robinhood too, because I want to do some, I want to show you guys, you can use LinkedIn to do some research on these articles and get a little bit more of the stability of the companies that you're choosing to do business with. So I thought this was interesting insight about Robinhood. The medium tenure of its employees are 1.4 years. And the other piece of information I wanted you to know about Polygon. So I wanted you to zoom on on Polygon, a little bit of fundamentals as to why you may want to invest in something or why not. But Polygon is a substantial low cost blockchain. So that is something that I, it's something you really want to take into consideration when you're looking as to how to diversify your portfolio. I can't give you financial advice, but I do want to give you this little piece of of information polygon is a global sustainable web3 infrastructure on ethereum it is a carbon neutral going carbon negative in 22. the uh it's in bengalia and it has 103,000 followers and 527 employees so polygon is worth looking into so now we're going to look at the overall market bitcoin and ethereum market cap so overall market cap is $971 billion. I've darkened the line for $900 billion, so you can see in the last seven days that this did go down. You can find this chart any day, anytime, 24 hours a day on coinmarketcap.com. And I put the arrow to where you would click on, on coinmarketcap in order to get this chart. And I have this set for the seven day chart. You can notice in seven days, it went from a little bit below $900 billion to, and I believe that was 888 billion, and back up to 975 billion. Looks like 975 is the setting ceiling at this point. So it'll be interesting to see if we get back up to a trillion. And this is why, because I wanted to go towards more of a one month perspective, I decided to give you guys a one month heat map today. So I thought, well, things are a little, uh, sideways right now in crypto and i wanted to give you some perspective as to what's going up for the month ripple if you were tuned in last week the ripple court case is coming to a closure and so if you've got ripple get excited because ripple went up 41 percent in the last 30 days bitcoin is up 0.64 percent and ethereum is down 7.21 percent for the month so we're about to look at the bitcoin and ethereum charts and both of these charts you're about to look at are going to be at different time frames okay we're going to look at the ethereum chart for the one month and we're going to look at the one hour chart for a bitcoin all right so if you want to get these indicators you can go to cryptomastery.online and you can subscribe so that you can get a little bit more information on how to use the indicators 
Remember, it's a manual quantitative strategy. So who, who made a bunch of money with that? Sam Bakeman Freed, all right? The owner of FTX five years ago. So if you keep on keeping on and you learn a fraction of what Sam understands, most likely you're gonna get what Sam got, all right? Okay, so here's Bitcoin USD one day performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators. So we have the early reversal came in and this is one day, okay? So we go in and you can see a few days ago, one, two, three, four, five, six, each one of those candlesticks stands for a day. So earlier last week or so, it looks like the early reversal came in, it went up a little bit. Now for the one day chart, the trend indicator has come on, the key. So right after the key, if it continues to move up, we're gonna get the bell. So stay tuned on this one day chart. The trend strength is in a great place. It's not an over bought. So there's room to grow. The signal line has just triggered for the Bitcoin one day chart and the volatility index is at a 17.60. So that means it's still in the oversold zone is great that means that you have a lot of room to grow all right now the ethereum is i said earlier we're going to look at the one month performance chart on ethereum so the early reversal has triggered for ethereum i think that over the last month it had its nice little fall everybody probably outside of the us maybe did some really good made some really good money shorting ethereum and now it looks like Ethereum's pushing and fighting back. So we'll see where that goes, but keep stay tuned. The average true range has not gone back into the entry zone yet. And I thought this was a great perspective to look at. So you could see Ethereum and where it was trending in the last 13 to 14 months. You could see how last year it went up a significant amount and we didn't go back down to the original amount back from June of 2020. So even though we did fall with Ethereum, it didn't go all the way down. Now, what's beautiful about this chart is on a one month basis, Ethereum's trend strength is in the oversold zone. So therefore, again, I love to get something and acquire when it's super, super down, when that price is really almost at the floor. However, I wouldn't say this is completely at the floor because look at the signal line. It is not looking like it stopped falling yet. And the volatility index is at a 30.41. So it's really not in the one month volatility index of oversold floor. All right. So, you know, some early reversal, it's exciting when it comes in, but it may take, um, if you look in the past performance on this, the early reversal came in back in 2020. You can see it came in, but it took a few months for it to move up. So, you know, these are for my long term uh, investors, people that don't like to go in and buy and sell in a day or a week. If you're more of like a one year seller, this is a good perspective for you. Most importantly, you need to know what your trading uh, personality is. Like how much time are you gonna put into this? Do you wanna do an analysis every month? Do you want it every week or every day? Or do you just wanna sit down and just work on the market every hour? And that will really help you understand what time frames you need to be looking at and trading with. So in our overall basket, we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, Cosmos, Algorand, Harmony, Phantom, and Solana. And most of these coins can be found on Coinbase. So our hot movers in the basket. This is really, really tiny. So we're going to go look on the next slide where it's bigger. And we'll go look on the live charts. So I wanted to let you know that you could create a watch list on your trading view account and I'll show you how to do that. And in a minute, you're gonna see our watch list change from, there's gonna be multiple categories in it. It's gonna show what's up for the month, what's up for the day and the week and what's not. And we'll organize that together today. So here's the crypto screener, which is what you saw earlier. And this is actually organized by just Coinbase coins in what is in the strong buy zone. So out of these, you have CTX, Cryptex, Finance, Binance, Stargate, Paxos, Quant, Shipping, New Cipher, Genosis, Stargate again, Numeria, 
Quant, Uniswap, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic, Urban Finance, Chili's, Airswap, Bitcoin, Tribe, Pluton, Request, and Orca. So again, you can go to CryptoMastery.online to subscribe and then you can get into the, all of the deep dive descriptions of how to use these technical indicators and jump on to the quant manual strategies. So now it's time for a question and answer. and We're going to go into the charts and we'll see what you guys, if you have any questions, we'll get Joe on live. And actually, we'll unmute you guys. So, Julie, if you're okay with this, we'll be on YouTube. But if you have questions, let's jump on and ask questions. And KS, I'm unmuting you. So, if you guys have a mic, you're more than welcome to talk. And now we'll go through the charts. So, Joe, how are you doing? Hi, Hi Susie. How's it going? Doing, doing well. Great. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, you know, one of the uh, Markets I wanted to talk about, which was I thought was a great trade, is uh, the link. There's a great setup in there with the ERI the other day. All right, so I'm on a one month chart. Looks like that early reversal is coming up. What time frame do you want me to be on? Uh, if you go in there to a daily. And uh, this was one of the setups where, as we had the uh, ERI, and then the next day we got the green dot on the TSI, and and that's really really important because that's the setup. You know, the the ERI by itself it stands for early reversal uh, indicator. So the ERI is going to show you a clue, but when you get the uh, additional confirmation. That's really when you can set a higher expectation of what you're looking for, you know, to take place. And in, in this case point, it's something that we've been reviewing the last couple of weeks is when we have an ERI uh, print and then the um, anticipating the uh, TSI for that green dot. And uh, sometimes we get them both at the same time. Um, but on this case scenario, uh, we got it the next day. And you know that right there, you would have gotten instant gratification. So that that was a pretty good setup. Let's see how far it went. So down here, it was about here, and then wow, seventeen point eight five percent in four days. Yeah, Fabulous. nice run, right? Yeah, you let's know. See. Last time the ERI hit, yeah, that's that's really good. I mean, last time ERI hit it, and then the other one went down it was four point seven four percent in fourteen days. So that's some. What's exciting is those are some good moves. Yeah, and well, then, you know, we've seen an increase in volatility. You know, uh, within the uh, the market sectors, a lot of money moving around. You know, one of the things um, is is just really how the setup works. Like, if you go in here to another market, I just want to just stay on that thread, that trend of thought of the ERI, and you change that to the XML, XLM. Oh, Stellar Lumens, XLM. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I knew it was on Coinbase. All right. Yeah. Here we go. ERI right here. Now, what's a, what, what's insignificant of this is is that on this case point, we had the ERI and the TSI both at the same time. So what I'm just trying to just show um, on the last two illustrations is, is that once we get the ERI, it's very important the TSI because the TSI is showing the follow through. It's two different types of mathematics at play. You know, the ERI works one way uh, with the calculation, and the TSI works another way. So you really have apples and oranges, but when you put them together, 
if you have everything in alignment, you got your fruit sour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so here's here's the day when the year I came in. So let's just say where the trend strength hit, and then the trend stopped right here. So yeah, those two are in sync. So let's just put a line here. The last, wait, not that one. The last time the trend strength actually followed through. And guys, remember, this is a one day chart. Okay. So right here, that's a, it, it's blue, one day. 1D means one day. So September 17th is then September 24th. Yeah. And, and you know one of the things is you see how like you got that red dot on the TSI. So the TSI is like very important because like not only is it giving you that additional confirmation that the market is starting to move, like the cycle is now up, you know, it also gives you an earlier uh shows an early exit which you can uh close out your trades, which is the uh, red dot. So that was something that was short-lived, but it was still a good deal. The other thing I want to draw their attention to, if you're trading on a one-day chart, one of the biggest indicators to let you know, hey, it's you're getting really tight to like the ceiling, is is this top Keltner band. So notice it went over this top Keltner band. These are averages. And that's like the top average price of 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 this coin. So if you're if you're acquiring i would say acquire down here when you are got candlesticks that are red that's the ideal time and then you definitely and this can't be financial advice but this is what i tend to do when you get above this top keltner band that's a take profit zone so if you're trading on a one day chart that's what you started with and then that's usually the time frame you want to stop with or is i mean that's how i trade how do you trade joe well um i like to trade the setup like, I, you know on the daily and uh, let the cake bake up here you tend to say okay you know beyond any of the other indicators when it gets to like above the top Keltner band, to me, that's like, okay, this is when I need to start taking some profit, if not all profit. But how do you yeah. manage your trade? Look, that's a great place to exit out at right there. Sometimes it, it, it may reverse really quick off of that. So you got to be quick, you know, um, uh, when using that. Uh, so that's a, a great place to exit. You know, a lot of times yeah. I have a level, and then if it hits that level, um, I downsize my positioning, you know, because these crypto markets, like you see right before that, you got that spike up. You have to be quick. Right here. Because, yeah, because nowadays, or right after that, it's like a can, there's some inside, yeah, right there, that candle. So yeah. you have to be really quick in here when you get these moves because, um, you know, there's so much money coming into this market, whereas that there could be somebody else taking a profit right there. And as soon as they took a profit, then that creates the market to drop some institution. And then you would have missed your price. So a lot of times, like I've been noticing um, the way the market has been moving in this in this bear market, whereas that if you if you get a nice swing, it's sometimes it's good to work with a target uh, rather than, you know, look at it visually. Because if you look at it visually and then you, you leave the room and come back, it may have come, you know, given back a lot of profit by that point. Yeah, look at this. So I want to make sure everybody understands what this little thin line is. It's called a, it's called a wick. So this is the candle and this is the wick. And the reason why it's not thick all the way up is because it was a minuscule amount of time within the one day analysis where it jumped up to that price. But if you had put a sell level in, if you had said when you purchased it, after you purchased it, if you put a sell order and it said sell at 13 cents, it would have sold for you. Like it would have been gone. 
and and then you would have had let's see here's the ruler so you take the ruler say you had gotten it in on that moment you gotten out here uh <laughs> that that i'm sorry guys little guys cover it and let's get back up there see if that'll go away there we go that's 24 percent in six days so just to give you a perspective sometimes you may want to put your sell order in a little higher i'm going to see if i can leave this on here and let's go into more of like a one week and see if that shows okay so if you're on a one week analysis so if you use the one date buy it here's that same right there so I think a lot of people get confused, Joe, between the different time frame charts and how to know when to make a move. So earlier we were on the one day chart and now I moved to the one week to give you a more eagle-eyed perspective of this particular move. So if you get in on the one day and you just do not want to sell yet, you just keep you keep feeling that you hear all these fundamentals, these positive fundamentals, you see all this money still getting into crypto, and you think, no, I just wanna hold longer, but you wanna have a responsible a responsible management of your own personal portfolio, because that's what you're doing, you're managing your own portfolio, then you may wanna pull back out and look at the one week analysis, and you can see here, it went over the second Keltner ban on the one week, and that's either going to be a ceiling or a floor, and at this point, that was a ceiling because it broke through that and then it, it went back down it consolidated to the first counter band so this particular indicator is is one of my major favorites because it does give you so many different perspectives and those counter bands are just phenomenal and it's trailing what joe has created here is phenomenal because you don't have to draw any lines you can just go right into analysis and once you understand how to use these indicators it's like playing the music of a symphony and, and you just you feel it you get it you have this intuition and then you could click out and look at everything in a, in a larger term perspective and not be so zeroed into the one day or one week but that's i just think it's really important to just really use these counter bands and use these different time frames so we can go into one month and say wow what a little move that was right but you go into the one hour too and then you're not even going to have any of that so there's multiple time frames but i say stick to one stick to one and succeed at that one time frame and if if you if you miss a trade then you you need to hit different time frames to see Maybe if you don't sell it soon enough to acquire your your commission, your your profits, then you need to look at different time frames and maybe a wider time frame. I don't know. Joe, what do you what's your thoughts on that? And does anybody have any questions about this? KS says, how are you setting take profit orders based on Fibonacci indicator tool or something else? Well, you could just base it right here on the counter band. And and I'll unmute you, Roy. Welcome. Um, uh, Roy's not here. Okay, so so Joe, are you wanting to answer that question too? I mean, basically, what I would do is if I was buying it here on this orange at the when the early reversal came in at ten cents, you you could literally do a paper trade. Watch trade buy. Yeah. So, well, I think what he what he means, Susie, is 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 that you know, um, right here. the uh, there's a couple ways. There's two ways you can exit the trade. One way you can use chart overlays to exit, and that's what Susie is uh, showing here uh, as a level uh, right there. When the when the market price actually reversed the Kelter band, that would be uh, an ideal exit. Um, another exit you could use with the Fibonacci. Um, uh, as far as like a retracement level, that works as well. So I kind of like try to put like a little bit, um, a little bit lower than the Fibonacci, because the Fibonacci is something, something that's very tricky. Meaning is that like if you try to price it 
exact, you may just not end up with any trades at all. <laughs> because the Fibonacci can be exact. Right? I've seen that happen a lot of times. You, you might just pick out the exact number. So if, if you go with the, the Fibonacci, I always uh, adjust it like five points higher or five points lower from maybe that 62% or 50% retracement level. So do you want me to show them your Fibonacci indicator? I mean, I'd, uh, at one point we had that. I mean, if you're using Fibonacci, are you using Joe's Fibonacci well, well, or are you using? He's using in there the um, generic uh, Fibonacci, um, which is the tool inside the, the uh, trading view, well, you know, which works well in there, you know. I mean, see, the Fibonacci works good for uh, targets and different levels. Um, the chart overlays work good as showing you when to start, you know, just the Fibonacci's because they're static, they may not, you have to keep updating them in real time. So you, you just want to be on top of, uh, doing your homework when you're utilizing them because, you know, when you draw the numbers in from the trading view, those numbers are static. Yeah, so let's make so static meaning like they don't move with oh, the market. They don't update. Meaning. Yes, meaning that they don't yeah. they don't update. Yeah, so I would just personally wouldn't use the trading view Fibonacci. I would use Joe's because it trails with you. But we don't have it displayed today. But that's a good question. All right, any other questions, guys? He says built-in trading view Fibonacci tool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you should, if you want to upgrade to Joe's, you should um, contact customer service with Crypto Mastery and see if you can get Joe's Fibonacci. Yeah, you, and you know what we'll do is, Joe's. is next week we'll um, we can show some examples with the Fibonacci. I mean, the the Fibonacci's work great with the with the the, the chart overlays. You know, like everything here is like you can extend expand on the success it's like you went and you brought a brand new ferrari right you can get rims and make it look even better you know you can get a new paint job on top of that make it look even better so as soon as you have these five main chart overlays and you learn these rules you can always expand on that success with the fibonacci or expand on it um there's another one that works really good which is the wap you know um and you know we'll, we'll get into that you know you know next week, but the, you know you can always uh, expand expand on the success because you understand the rules of actually how to make money, you know, and what the setups are, and that's what's in, that's the whole purpose of these classes and what we're doing here is is to highlight in there like hey when we do get that that ERI and your alert goes off, hey now you're waiting for that TSI because when you get that confirmation on that TSI the market's going to start to go. And, and right there, that's where you want to get your business done. And it's, and it's real important to set alerts because once the market starts to move, you know, that could be it, you know, and then you missed it. And then, you know, um, you know, you never know how far it's going to go, how far, how fast. Um, one thing you don't want to do is chase it. Um, but um, when the opportunity comes, you have to seize it. Yeah, I agree. I do want to, I want everybody to zoom, zoom in on Ripple. And because we talked about that Ripple lawsuit and how it's coming to some conclusions and some closures about are certain cryptos considered securities. And so I would say stay tuned to that. But I wanted to give you guys a little insight or to see how all of that good news has affected Ripple and it, it went up 61% in six days. So what I find very exciting about crypto right now is that you may not have a lot of movement in the king and queen, meaning Bitcoin and Ethereum. But when I showed you that heat map earlier, you could see that Ripple went up in the last month 41%. But look, in six days, it went up 61%. So uh, Ripple, it looks like it's more going downward at the point this point it makes sense people are taking profit 
But also, I want to let you know that it's difficult to be able to get access to buy Ripple, as you cannot find it on Coinbase right now, nor Binance, because they kicked it off because of that lawsuit. And uh, I personally have some Ripple since 2018, when United States got kicked off of Binance International, and Coinbase had it on at their website at that time. But since the court case started in 2020, it's basically just been sitting there because um, Coinbase kicked it off and you weren't able to sell it. You could just transfer it. But since then, it's been quite difficult to find a place to be able to buy it. So I want you guys to keep an eye on this because once this lawsuit does settle, there's a good chance that if it does go back on to one of those major U.S. exchanges, you may see something go places just from the mere fact that now it's accessible because at this point you can't get it on binance.us you can't get it on uh, coinbase.com and um, I don't think you can get it on crypto.com either it's not on there so there's three major places that do not have it but once this gets settled they may I'm assuming they may bring it back and if it does, then keep an eye on that one. Um, I also want to show you guys the watch list. I was changing the watch list from up for the month and then combo and then trending up for the day and the week. So we have oh, things are changing. So was thinking we could do an analysis together. I wanted to show you guys. So IOTA is up. Well, I, I have... Um, a set of indicators where I like to have two of these radars. So I'll show you guys that. And I like to do radars at different time frames. So you can take your radars and go to settings and you could change this. Actually, I'll, I'll leave this one to 60 days and we can change this to like a month. Is that okay, Joe, if I do this? <laughs> I know we guys don't like to make Oh, it yeah. Look, Susie, what you're doing is incredible because you're letting the technology show you the way. And, and that's, that's what this is. This is utilizing technology like if you had a GPS. You know, the more odds you can put in your favor, it, you know, the more, uh, you know, more likely you're going to come out on top. And this is a game uh, whereas... Uh, if, you know, the technology is able to do what humans cannot do. Like, I, I would never be able to do that with all my years of experience, monitor eight time frames in my mind. <laughs> but the technology exactly. can do it, you know? So great work, Susie. I, I mean, I really, really love uh, have watching you grown and also uh, have success in here. You know, and that, and that might be too much for someone new starting off. So, like, you don't need to work on this level. This is something in here which is just like a, a great book. And once you finish one chapter, you can't wait to get to the next. Well, education is a constant evolution. And, you know, from four time frames, which, you know, was where we started from uh, last year when we first come up with the radar, and now we're coming towards the end of the year, and to be, you know, monitoring eight time frames is just, uh, the technology always uh, amazes me. Wow, look at that. Yeah, IOTA in one day went up 20%. I did a rat video on my YouTube channel that says IOTA in it. And so when they were talking 2018, IOTA has been um, on the radar. Now, that that is some movement. And this is a one day chart, guys. So. Just to give you an idea of where it was, let's we'll say from here to, to there, that's only dropping 11.27% in 47 days. But if you went from the top here to the bottom zone here, it lost 26% in 46 days. So what's fun about this is you want to be part of an asset that's moving though, right? Because if it's, if it's got a heartbeat, you're in good hands because if you're swing trading and it's going sideways, boring, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? People need excitement. They need movement. So if you're, if you're, if it's moving, if it's got a heartbeat, say from here down to, wow, look at that. That's 34% up in nine days. So, but I do want to tell you guys, okay, what is the color of this candlestick? It's black. Where is it right now? This is a take profit opportunity right here if you're one day swing trading. And the reason why it's take profit because you're at the top of that Keltner band, like way up top. So I'll do a nice little orange line like we did earlier. You say, boom. So if you, oh, wait, you know what? It's better to do that orange line that goes horizontal. So do that. So you can see where it went back to close to August 1st of 2022. That's some good movement, all right? So this is a take profit opportunity right now, okay? So, I mean, if we were testing you guys, would you buy right here if you were swing trading on a one-day chart? I would say no. <laughs> I wish you guys would all talk to us. No, don't buy right now. If you're, if you're focusing on a one-day chart, right? Um, all right, KS is talking to us. I wish this mic would work. This is, I do have Joe's Fib Levels Indicator through my subscription. Just not sure how to use it. It is just a sloping red line. Not sure if it's the same one um, we are talking about. So, you know, it depends on KS what your. Um, it would oh, depend well, on maybe he doesn't know how to. Maybe is. it may not be set right, you know? Um, yeah, I would love to share his screen. And uh, KS, do you have a mic? And if so, can you share your screen one day? So that way we could go in there and fix it. Or you could call customer service and have them. Uh, well, well, you know, or next week what we'll, we'll do is, Susie, is that we can, I mean, if, if he's, um, since he has it, um, next week we can set some time and, you know, for him and go over it and we can showcase it. Nice. KS says, Ripple is accessible on Qcoin. Awesome. So we got to see, did Qcoin kick off Americans? Uh, that's the question. Uh, Hello? Okay. So I okay. left a message. That, okay. So basically that's IOTA. And then also what I was doing is analysis is doing what's up for the month. And that's kind of, I coded the purple, but I haven't gone through all the coins today. So it'll quickly go through some of our top coins. Algo, that one on a one day basis is above. Well, wow, it's moving down right now, but <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful how the, the radars are just saying, look, it's moving down. Good time to short it <laughs> if you were out of the United States. Um, so for the one hour, four hour, one day, one week is down and the one month though is up. So we could go towards the one month chart and see where that is. And it's on the bottom counter. So, you know, how many of you guys are one month traders versus one week, one day or one hours? It would be fabulous to find out like what your trading personality is. Okay, I said that would be great. I would prefer not to have to share my screen for privacy reasons. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Just let us know, you know, make, see if you can unmute your mic and that way uh, we can do mic tests and that way you can talk to us and we can talk you through it then. So Stellar Lumens is showing up for the month and which is what we just looked at. And one week, eight days, and one month are all up. And that, I changed that time frame on the radar. So and you guys saw earlier how the one week was up. So we can go look at one week. And there's your one week. So if the one week turns into perpetual weeks up, see where that goes. But Stellar, here's that early reversal came in right here. And it started moving up. So Stellar on a one week basis, looks like it hit that second Keltner band, but didn't stay there long. But it's good because it's red, guys, all right? So here is Ripple 
on uh, one month, it's moving up. And yeah, that's a substantial move, guys. So for one, two, three, four months, here's the early reversal that came in for Ripple. Look at that. 68% in 14 days, and then it corrected people, some people took profit, which totally understand. All right, here's Ethereum Bitcoin. This one was showing up. So people are spending their Bitcoin and buying Ethereum 68% in 56 days. But then look at this. We had a nice sell off. Right to go there, 19% down in 21 days, but it's still not to the bottom. Kelton again for the one week, and here is the graph. And that one, I'm going to go out so that is up for the eight days and the one month. But you have the trend strength showing down, the signal line up, the volatility index is low at a 1.27. Joe, can you get better than a 1.27 volatility index? <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, uh, but the, uh, the one issue with the graph is like, look, like it never gets out of that oversold zone. So we're on a one week basis for graph, and there's not a lot of data on here. But um, when you see green, that means it's oversold. So graph's got a long, a long haul to get back up to the the black even even just to get to the the black candlesticks right so this is a good way to see an analysis of uh real potential now this ape coin it's been green since may all in oversold now this these are always good to look at because you're looking at to acquire something that's super down Okay, so here's a one-week analysis of Suku. It's amazing how all the candlesticks are oversold, but it's super low on the counter band. Well, you know, I think what, what it is is that, uh, you know, you have some of these uh, coins and, you know, a lot of them, you know, everything is, is moved by money flow. And what I noticed is, is that on the coinbase right what really has been moving has been the ust currencies like if you pull up the ust uh gbp susie you're saying you're doing forex with a stable coin I, i'm saying in here it's just not considered forex it's considered um crypto usd tgbp for pound and oh, this said, is the uh, only what is thing. The last, the G, okay. Um, GBP. GBP. No, no, you're doing it wrong. USDT. Oh, DT. Okay. Okay. And GBP. It's the pound. There you go. So that you're saying like the the tether, which is the stable coin. Uh, well, well, what I'm saying is this this right here. If you take a look on the monthly is one of the only coins that I found on Coinbase that's going up on the monthly. So are we able to you... get the pound? I don't know why I mean... yours looks different than mine. Hold on a second. You're doing, you have something wrong there. Okay, it's GBP. I think there might be two of them. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know why you're missing data. Are you on Coinbase Kraken or XMO? Uh, no, I'm, I'm on Coinbase. <clears throat> it's just um, have more data. But as an American, I mean, do we don't really get the pound. Like, how would we get the but pound? I mean, it's just it. It's a coin and it's an opportunity. You know, I mean, it kind of moved already. You know, but if you take a look in there from the, uh, you know, just from the, uh, on the weekly, I just, you know, just showing that it's been trending up. It's one of the few coins in there. 
Let's see. I think the other one is the uh, the euro, the pound and the euro. See, so the euro the had the ERI USDC. set up. This is the this is the one I was looking for. I'm sorry, the euro, right? So you want to go USDT e u r. There you go, and put that on the daily. And this one had the setup, but the ERI right there. That's what I was talking about. I'm sorry, it wasn't the pound; it was the euro. So it's just the euro versus the virtual dollar, basically. Yeah. 4.64%. The same setup, ERI, right, and the TSI, both at the same. And that's really the, the whole theme of today is, you know, being able to identify the setup when you have the ERI and the TSI both print at the same time. That's a mathematical setup that uh, can be very rewarding. Nice. It's good for the people that get access to the euro. I don't know if <laughs> I, that's interesting. I mean, it's, so I just I've never really traded the euro or the pound on Coinbase. Yeah, well, wait, if you notice in there, the more that they every time you go on there, there's more and more markets that keep putting on there. You yeah, know, right. so Coinbase is turning into a casino. Now, now a casino is a dangerous place, right? I mean, if you go in there, what's the chances of you walking out with money? <laughs> walking out a winner, unless you have a system or some type of program of how you're counting the cards in your head or. You know, you get these little warm fuzzy feelings, you know, and you know what slot machine to play. You have to have some type of like um, uh, advantage. If not, chances are if you go in the casino, you're just going to lose. Well, this Coinbase, you know, uh, there's so many coins that's on there. And this, this crypto market has grown so much that it's real easy in there to... Um, see so many possible opportunities and make a mistake that's what i'm trying to say you know but once you have these tools and you learn how the setups work and um looking to maximize those setups now you can go into that coinbase and then right away you can find things that you like uh, that you don't like and you can set alerts and you can create a trading plan and then you have the ultimate home-based business. Yeah, you're right. Agree. And also, I wanted you guys to see on your watch list, as long as you add everything, you can click by change and see what's up. And then you could say, like, look, Uni USD for the one day. It's, it's a three in the trend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. It's up four the trend strength the signal line came in i'm just gonna make uh one vertical line so signal line came in here the same day signal line triggers the tsi is on his second day of upward the key comes in and it was the day after the early reversal came in and let's see what happens here so early reversal came in here and now it's in the above the top counter so it went up 25 percent in five days so this is an optimal setup showing you right here where early reversal came in, boom, 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 on a one-day chart. So if you're just, and a lot of people haven't told us their trading personality and their actual accessible time ability to focus on the market, but this is an ideal situation. So on the 22nd, you get in on the early reversal. So 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. So that's just one, two, three, four, five, six days. So six days. So let's see if we can find something. Okay, so here's one where the signal line just popped on the 25th. And then you've got the key and then the bell. And let's see where it's at. So currently 
it is up 7.58% in two days. And you have the one hour, the four hour, and the day all in your favor for this SKL scale. And they're used, that's with using Bitcoin to get scale. So let's see what else we have. USD for circuits of value. Let's see the signal line came in right here. And then nothing happened. But look at the TSI just triggered today. Oh, wait, I'm going to delete this because I want you guys to see this. It looks like the early reversal just came in too. So I'm going to just put a little arrow here so you can see that. So this could have some promise right now for circuits of value USD on Coinbase. So let's just put a little line on that and see where that goes. Now, if you want to zoom in on like the one hour, let's kind of see where it's going. So on the one hour analysis, the entry came in and it went above the top Keltner band for the one hour. And you could see the trend has been triggered and it had a little down, a take profit zone. It went down, went up. Looks like it may be going down again, but it's it's alive, right? It's moving, which is exciting. So people are buying and selling, buying and selling. We'll pull out to a four hour perspective. And you can see on a four hour basis, it's a little um, got room to grow. And here's a one day perspective, which is what we were on. So once you know your trading personality, you'll know kind of where to go. I'm going to stick to the one day. We'll just do a little a few more before we jump off. So Pluton, no go for the one day. Ah, here we go. So we've got this one looks like the TSI just got triggered. The signal line looks like it's coming down. It is volatility 6.14 for the one day. And the early reversal came in right here, which was three days ago. It went up a little bit, but not a substantial amount. So be interesting to see how that plays out. The one hour, the four hour, and the one day are all in a line of moving up. So when you see something that is you know, in the red, super low, that's a great time to get in before it goes up. All right, quant one day, it's got a lot going on. What I love about this one is the average true range kicked in right here at the same time the bell kicked in, the same time the TSI. You can see the signal line got closed up and then it just keep kept moving up now here's the thing if you're uh this is a four hour right now so it's close to being overbought and it's at the top of the Keltner band so this is a few hours late now let's take it farther out to a one day and let's kind of see where oh, we are in a one day okay we'll look at a two day so uh on a two day it's still on the top of the Keltner band so a three day Three days still on the top counter band. Four. So this would have to be, if you were acquiring this now, you'd have to be a real long termer here because it's kind of gone too far. So I mean, Joe, what's your feeling about that? I mean, I, I love that it's there, but it's it's almost like you've got to get instantly in when these things trigger. Because uh, if not, you're gonna get too high to buy. <laughs> I think you got to set your alerts, you know, I mean, and take every opportunity like it's your last opportunity because, you know, if you wait around to think about it, you're going to miss out and someone else is going to take that tree. Exactly. KS had a comment about the British pound and the euro. He said, so this GPB, GBP, British pound and euro buying the Tether stablecoin, which is denominated in USD. Said so USD and DXY have been going up because Fed rate hikes. So this shows that the pound and Euro are becoming weaker compared to the USD. He said people yeah. are fleeing to USD from weakening currencies. <clears throat> yep, point that's there, true. KS. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's numbers. 
Exactly. All right. Well, we are at the end of the hour. So it was great having you guys here. Look forward forward to next week and we'll get into that Fibonacci and uh, keep going through your watch list and, and let us know in the questions box next week what you want to look at. You know, start writing your questions down. And if you're on YouTube right now, just put them in the comments and we'll make sure we look at that next week on the Susie Joe show. All right. I'll see you guys next week and go to cryptomastery.online if you need to subscribe and get some indicators. You want to say anything before we go, Joe? Um, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And um, next week we'll go over to Fibonacci and stuff and uh, check out what's cooking. Thank you. Oh. Thanks. See you guys next week.